Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is the EET 122 Digital 2. Today we're going to discuss serial in parallel out shift registers. And the first question that should come to your mind is, if we're talking about serial in and parallel out shift registers, why the heck does he have a serial in, serial out shift register drawn on the board? And my explanation about that is not so fast. I'll show you how it can be used as a parallel out shift register. Okay, so serial in, one door to the bus, in, parallel out. In this particular case, there's four doors out. Okay, previously we had one door out here. So let's go ahead and keep that door. And let's poke three other doors in the side of the bus. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. We have taken our serial in, serial out shift, shift register and made ourselves a serial in, parallel out shift register. So whereas previously, it took four bits to store this guy and four bits to, excuse me, four clock pulses to store it and four clock pulses to read it. Well, check this out. We could store it in four clock pulses, but we can read it in one. Okay, so let's go back to our time and diagram friend and do a thorough analysis of this just to make sure that that horse is dead. Okay, so again, we want to feed in a value 1011 into our serial in parallel out shift register. And again, it's going head first. It's MSB to LSB. So MSB 1011, head first into that. And that is the data diagram pictured here. Again, let's assume everybody's uh, initially reset. So at clock pulse 1, um, this guy, Q0 was a 0. Q1 is the its data input is the previous stage's output. Now, OK, clock pulse 1 comes along. Q0 is reading data input right there. So let's account for a little bit of a delay. And it's going like that. OK, so Q1, it's reading Q0 there. So it stays at 0. Same here, same here. Second clock pulse. Q0 reading D in. It's reading a 0. Counting for the delay. Goes like that. Q1, it's reading Q0 right there. Counting for the delay. Goes up to 1. Again, see how that block is just shifted over there, hence the name shift register. 0. Zero, and now we are reading here, one, reading there, come for the delay, reading there, notice the shift, zero there, okay, now we're going to read here, it stays a one, this one goes up to a one, This one's reading a zero. This one's reading a one. Shifting. Okay, next clock pulse. What's going on here? Do we have, are we already full here? Yep, we are. We already got all four bits in there. And again, we're reading one, zero, one, one. And what how many bits does it take to, because I mean, we're already at 1, 0, 1, 1. How many clock pulses does it take to read it? Just one. It's basically, they're all simultaneously, boom, 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 going out. 1, 0, 1, 1. And again, head first, MSB to LSB.
Okay, you want to go ahead and clear this guy. It's going to take, again, those four other pulses. One, two, three, four, to successively shift those zeros into our positions there for the Q3 through zero bits. Okay, so again, advantage of a serial in parallel out. You stick in serial in, but you can fast read them out. So it just only takes one clock pulse to get them out. Um, if we kept going here, we could actually use this as a serial out also. You know, kept on feeding um, those clock pulses in and progressively cleared things out that way too. But um, typically a chip that you buy off the shelf NETTL is normally strictly a um, parallel out or parallel in. But if you're tricky, you could use it either way. So uh, matter of fact, let's talk about one of those, um, specifically 74164. That is a serial in parallel out shift register. It's an 8-bit. So what is its logic symbol? So it's obviously got a clock. It's positive edge. SRG, shift register 8. And it's got Q0 through Q7 outputs. How many inputs does it have? Well, it's serial in. There's one door in ordinarily. But no, this thing's special. Actually, has two doors in. And A and B are actually hooked up with a NAND. Okay, so this, if you could actually just imagine that same shift register that I just drew upstairs with just a NAND with A and B. So you've got a little bit of logic connections there. Um, but this is the, actually, it's, it's implemented with um, SR latches. But just think of as A and B combined as a NAND and that logical combination, that's your single door into the bus. There's also a clear, which I believe is asynchronous. Let me go check a data sheet. Asynchronous clear. Active low. Asynchronous clear. OK. That is about it for serial in and parallel out shift registers. And we're going to move on to parallel in, the opposite, shift uh, serial out shift registers.